Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thanks, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady Ada is a power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things you need on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what are you looking for this week? Okay, so this week I'm on a quest. JP asked me to do a DMX feather wing in the style of the um, Arduino shield that was made by Tinkerkit um, and many others. This uses um, a MAX-485, which is a very, very, very common RS-485 transceiver. DMX, like the audio, the AV light programming and smoke machine, whatever, controlled protocol, uses RS-485 uh, as the underlying layer, and then DMX is like the protocol on top of it. So um, we covered transceivers on INAPI. It also covered a little bit about DMX, so check out this INAPI. Um, if you want to learn more about DMX in general. Okay, so what I want to do to start is find the connector. So let's go to the overhead. Um, so this is like a really low, it's like this is a kind of common low cost. Your Amazon special DMX light. You give it power and then it's got DMX in and out. And DMX tends to be chained. So you have um, uh, the signal in, and then the next light down the pike gets the signal from the out. So it's not, it, 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 does, actually sh it does actually share the contacts, but for like tradition, they don't use T connects. They actually chain through. I guess like if you have the ability, you could have like signal repeaters or whatever, or I don't know, whatever. Um, anyways, uh, Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to get the transceiver next, but the first thing I want to do is get these connectors. So note, one is a plug and one is a socket. Interestingly enough, the shield, if we go to the computer, had two sockets. I don't know why. Um, also, it uses the five pin socket, but to be honest, like everything I've looked at uses the three pin. The five pins, the, if you have the five pin, the extra three pins are not. Um, use that I see. And sometimes you get these nice little um, push connects. So let's find these. So these are called XLR connectors. So let's go to uh, DigiKey. And this is the subtype that we are talking about here is called a um, XLR connector. So let's go to circular connectors to start. Circular connector. I know they're sometimes called DINs, but the correct word is is circular. Um, so there's a lot of, you know, one thing you'll notice is that like there's a lot of, there's like a lot of circular connectors because they're used a lot in military applications. Okay, so this is, this category is like the back shells. This is for if you're making connectors using like the circular format, which is not what we want. We want like the PCB mount thing. In fact, what I want is a little bit like this. It's like a right angle through hole solderable connector. So what I want is, I think it's the assemblies, which has like 2 million things in it. So there's a lot, but we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it filtered down. So yeah, so we want something like this. This is obviously not the right connector layout or connector, but it's like the, you know, that's, this is kind of what I want. Something through hole, we'll solder it in. Um, and then it could get hand or wave or select or soldered. Um, let's start with our common things. We're gonna do active, and then we're gonna say normally stocking. So the last, we're all looking for things that you can actually get. Okay, next up, number of connectors. So as mentioned, um, XLR in general uses only three connectors. Uh, sometimes you'll see stuff with five, but I'm really just gonna go with the, the standard. So I'm just going to, all these like different options for three, I'm just going to select them. And let's see what we get. Okay. All right. Looking good. These are, these are kind of weird. I don't know what these are called. Power din, mini din. So one thing I noticed as I was kind of scrolling through is there started to be like connectors that were yeah, it's tough because I, I did measure it and it was like 16 millimeters. But I was like, well, what's, is there a name for it? Like, you know, it's called DIN or mini DIN and then there's like M16-3. 
And it turns out really it's just called XLR. So if you look in the um there's so many connectors in the family features. Hold on, this is like so hard to find. Shielding, ingress, color, contact, shell, material, orientation, fastening, type, no, termination. We want through hole qualifications, shell size. Yeah, so even though normally when we look for components, we would do the shell size by like millimeters. In this case, when you're looking for stuff like DIN, or XLR or what's now called like mini XLR, you can just select XLR and that that size is the same as like, it's like a, it's a size that's so standardized that they just call it by the three letter name. Okay, so yeah, we've got, and these look very familiar, right? These are basically the same thing as on, is on my um, DMX light. So the next thing is we want just a through hole solderable version and some of them you can kind of see this is through hole but like the pins go out the back so if we look there's panel mount through hole and panel mount through hole right what's interesting is that even though these are right angle these are considered panel mount because you see they have those two um holes if you go to the overhead real fast i notice this is very it's a very standardized this connector um you would you this is soldered onto the pcb and this is not right angle, this is through hole, um, vertical, but then you mount it onto the case. And because like these are almost always panel mount, you, you can't get it in a way that isn't panel mount, right? Whereas the mini connectors are not necessarily panel mount. Sometimes they just kind of float in the cutout area and you don't, you don't attach them. Okay, sorry, back to the computer. All right, so let's, get the, let's look at the mounting technique. So we want, look at the ticks, uh, through hole white angle and panel mount. I'm gonna say white angle. I don't want free hanging and I don't want just panel mount because I want it to be like through hole. I don't even think I want this panel mount white angle, but we'll see. Okay, the good news is that this really cut things down. So the next question is, you know, do, it, do you want like the soccer or the club? Well, I want one of each. So I'm probably going to have, I'm gonna look at the family. And then the next thing I notice is that, like, you know, Amphenol seems to kind of be walking this this family out. Like, the pricing is very reasonable. When you sort by price, Amphenol kind of has, like, all the, the least expensive ones. But there was this weird thing where there's, like, the AC3MAH and then AC3MAH1. So the M, you can see there's, like, female and male. So F and M tell you the different connector styles. But I was like, what's the difference between the one and the not one? And I couldn't see any difference here. So looking up the data sheets, you can see if I click between them, um, the here, like on this one, there's no pin here. And here there is a pin. And then if you go down, to look at the schematic chart. One has the chassis connect to the mate shell, which is connected to pin one, which is like traditionally ground. And this one, which is not connected. And I guess the question is, it's like, depending on your setup with isolation, whether you want to connect the mating shell to pin one. I prefer not to. I'd rather pay a couple cents more and have it separated because I can always connect on the PCB. But if I don't want it connected for some reason, because like MIDI, it has, you know, MIDI has a thing where one side has to be optically, optically isolated. So you don't want to ground the shell or any contact because you, you want to have an optical connection and have no electrical connection directly through because like your cables are so long, you don't want to have like weird signal bounce because it's not a differential signal. This is like a straight up like, you know, square wave being sent over. So I decided I want the version that doesn't have the chassis shell, which is the non one H version. So this one, and then what I'll do is I'll just get the F A version. So F A A H and the M A H A U. So it's gold contact. So this one here 
and this one here. This is nice. There's a little push connector, panel mount, pins are marked, little gold contact. So yeah, these are these two are my picks for the XLR connectors for the research. And that's a great search. Where is